So today we perform the uh, first CardioMAMS implantation in Tulsa. CardioMAMS is a uh, revolutionary device in heart failure management that the FDA has uh, recently given approval to. This device has been shown to reduce hospitalizations for heart failure patients and has also uh, been shown to improve quality of, of life. Uh, exercise uh, duration and distance, uh, namely through monitoring, remote monitoring of the patient's internal hemodynamics, that is the pressures that then lead to heart failure. So the procedure starts with uh, what I would call standard right heart catheterization. Um, access is obtained uh, either in the femoral, femoral vein or internal jugular vein. Uh, at that point we do a Swan-Gans right heart catheterization to measure uh, oxygen saturations, right atrial, right ventricular, and pulmonary artery pressures. At that point, a pulmonary angiogram is performed um, with, with injection of dye through a catheter. We're trying to identify an optimal suitable pulmonary artery that we can implant this device in. And at that point, once that is done, uh, and a wire is placed into that pulmonary artery, at which point that uh, device is then delivered. The patient is then recovered in the recovery room a few hours and then is able to be discharged on that same day. Recovery and pain is fairly minimal. Um, the risk to the patient uh, is fairly minimal as well. So once the patient is home, um, typically they are um, discharged with what we'll call a pillow. It's a special monitoring system that downloads input uh, data from the device. Um, it's downloaded um, you know, once a day. The patient essentially lays on this pillow. Um, it's placed um, on, you know, behind their back. That then uh, absorbs the data from the device and then is sent in um, to the heart failure clinic at which point the data is then interpreted by a receiving device and then printed out in a way that we can then visualize and look at, at what's going on with each patient.